Your Excellency, yesterday we missed you. Traditionally, every last Sunday of April, there is a service that is held at St. Stephen's SEK to pray for the workers. That service is held in a very historic church. And yesterday I took the members through a bit of that history. That church started in what today is Parliament buildings, where the National Assembly sits. But because the colonial government then wanted to build Parliament, the church was moved to Eastlands and became a cathedral that only the Africans could use because there was real apartheid and segregation. And that was in 1902 when they were moved. But that church, together with the labor movement, have been an integral part of the journey of independence in Kenya because in the 50s, when the colonialists segregated and divided Kenyans along tribal lines, when the Kikuyus and people from Mount Kenya were moved out of uh, Kaloleni and Makongeni into Bahati, Tom Boyer, a young man in his 20s, a Kanjo worker, decided to agitate. The colonialists murdered Mbotela, a councillor called Tom Botella, in what is now Bama Market, 24th of November 1952, just after the state of emergency, to try and bring tribal tensions. It didn't work. The next year, they murdered Ofafa, which is where we get the estate of Ofafa Jericho. Because when they murdered him, they came, two hours later, they burnt down Bama Market. The people stayed calm. The next year, they murdered Ofafa at the same place. The people stayed calm. Because they were trying to create a tribal rift by saying these people, Luo councillors, Mbotela and Ofafa, were murdered by Mau Mau. Two men, Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, and Tom Boyer went round Kaloleni Social Hall, Mudurwa Social Hall in Makongeni, telling the people from the community to calm down and not to protest and not to cause chaos. Today, Your Excellency, we need Jaramogi Odinga, Oginga Odinga, we need Tom Boyer to go round again Nairobi, telling the people to calm down to stay peaceful, not to be divided along tribal lines, and not to enter into any violent action. We need that today just as we needed it back in that day in 1952. Tom Boyer, a great labor leader, if he was to wake up today, I'm sure he would be proud of the labor movement. He would be proud of Francis Atuoli because of the work you have done. And I want to thank you, my own dad, for what you have been to us. Hata kama last year, ulikuwa umeenda njia ingine tafauti na sisi najua uliambia wafanyikazi wanipigie kura. Na nashukuru wafanyikazi kwa sababu mlinipigia kura, but sasa mwona Papa Francis Atoli amerudi ako kwa line na anasupport rais wetu William Samoei Ruto.